South Korea has very advanced military technology. The country has a well-trained and equipped air forces with the latest weapons, including fighter jets, helicopters, air defense systems, and chemical weapons. South Korea also has expertise in the fields of finance and information technology, which enables it to produce advanced weapons internally. Additionally, South Korea has strong military partnerships with other countries such as the United States, which helps it access the latest military technology. As we all know, helicopters have been a crucial part of modern transportation for decades. They're used for everything from search and rescue missions to military operations to transporting people and goods. But what does the future hold for these versatile machines? Overall, the future looks bright for helicopters. With advancements in electric propulsion, advanced materials, and autonomous technology, we can expect to see these amazing machines continue to evolve and play a vital role in our lives for years to come. So let's take a look at the latest Korean military helicopters. A South Korea's Defense Committee recently unveiled the Korean Aerospace Industry KI, Light Armed Helicopter LH, and allocated funds for additional attack helicopters to be purchased overseas. The LH Light Armed Helicopter is a compact twin-engine combat helicopter that is being developed by Korea Aerospace Industries KI. The Light Utility Helicopter LUH is a variant of KI's Light Armed Helicopter LH, which is in the final stages of development ahead of production for the Republic of Korean Army ROCA from 2023. Korean Aerospace Industries KI unveiled a new helicopter variant to support Special Operations Forces SOF, at DX Korea 2022, which is being held in Seoul from 21 to September 25th. According to KI's Regional Manager for International Sales and Marketing, Byung Sam Choi, development of the LUH is being pitched for many mission sets, one of which is the Special Operations Attack Helicopter, SH. Choi said that the LUH comprises a stripped-out LH, providing greater space to carry troops, both inside the cabin and on outboard benches similar to those used on board Boeing's MH6M Little Bird as used by the U.S. Special Operations Command. Confirming that both the LH and LUH are based on the same Airbus Helicopters H-155 airframe, Choi said that the LH will have a maximum takeoff weight of 4,920 kilograms. The airframe measures 14.3 m in length, 4.3 m in height, and 3.9 m in width. KI exhibited a scale model of the LUH at DX Korea 2022, illustrating how outboard benches can carry two SOF operators each. An accompanying computer-generated movie played at the event showed how the SH could be used to support special operations in dense urban environments where operators could employ the helicopter's fast rope insertion extraction system, FRIES, to insert quickly onto the ground or rooftops. Eventually the future looks bright for helicopters with these advancements, helping to make them more efficient, capable, and safe for a wide ring of applications.